All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So today is going to be your general love reading. So let's find out what is going on with you and the person on your mind. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is in the description box. Let's take a look and see. So we're going to start with a general theme. So what is actually going on in this connection right now? Okay, so someone is crying over this. We have Purge. This could be you. This could be them. Um, someone is 100% shedding tears over this situation. We have the material world. I'm also feeling like someone could be kind of distracting themselves with material things, things in the physical world, um, because of pain, okay? And then we have divine timing. So this makes me feel like there's some distance between you and this person, and it could be, maybe it's been a while, right, with the divine timing. <clears throat> what I'm getting, though, is that... We also have tribe at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone here is distracting themselves from their pain. I don't know if this is you or them with like material stuff, hopefully not a third party, but I'm seeing the tribe that could potentially be too. It's like, you know, you just kind of, you try to numb or you try to suppress with external things. So you don't actually have to deal with your feelings. I feel like there's a lot coming up for someone on an emotional level, but there's a sense of like distracting. So let's see what's coming through. <clears throat> so what is coming through for the general collective? What's coming through for the general collective? Yeah, definitely. Temperance in reverse. Okay, this makes me feel of kind of feel like someone who uh, who is emotionally out of balance. Sagittarius energy, but this kind of makes me feel like the purge card a little bit with it being in reverse. There's this sense of emotional imbalance, like being emotionally out of balance. And sometimes when we're out of balance, we just make poor decisions. We got the nine of wands in reverse. Okay. And the nine of pentacles in reverse, two nines. So definitely I'm getting single energy here. Like I feel like you're not with this person. I'm getting a sense that you guys are independent from each other. There is still an attachment. You know what's interesting? I kind of feel like this is representing someone and this is representing someone. Like someone has given up and someone else is still very much attached to the connection. So maybe you gave up on this person and they're feeling very attached. Could be vice versa. Um... I'm kind of getting two different energies. I'm getting someone who kind of gave up and someone who is still feeling quite attached to the connection. So how does this person feel? Let's take a look. How does this person on your mind feel about you? How are they feeling about you right now? We have the Ace of Swords. How does this person feel about you right now? The Six of Wands. And we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. So... I feel like this person is very much like emotionally shut down. They're acting completely from their ego. Some of you guys may already know this. Um, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. They feel like they know all that they need to know about this situation. This may not be the truth, but for them, they feel like they know all they need to know. Maybe they found something out or they feel like they've got some sort of clarity or truth. They're just over here in their ego, completely emotionally suppressed. So what was I saying about like numbing? Um, I feel like it's probably your person or whoever's embodying this energy. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be what I'm getting water energy. Um, we also have Sag. But it's like this person is solely in their ego. Like their energy towards you right now is very suppressed. Like you probably wouldn't be getting too much from them. Um, they care more about how they appear at this point. Like this to me feels like an energy of someone who cares more about protecting themselves than connecting and being bonded with someone. Like they're more so concerned with how they appear at this point. Let's see. How are they truly feeling? How does this person truly feel about my viewers? Frustrated. Okay, so deep down they're feeling quite frustrated about this situation. It says prevented, hindered, and blocked. Makes sense. Again, like I think there's this emotional suppression from this person. So let's take a look and see what this frustration is about. Why is frustration here? The page. See, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like we have these emotional cards in reverse, like Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, both in reverse. This person is frustrated. Why? Because they're not connected to their emotions. Like they've shut down their heart space. They've shut down their emotional side and they're feeling frustrated. I feel like it's because it's like they're not connected to themselves. They're living in their ego or they're primi primarily in their ego. I think there's a lot of emotion that needs to come up from this person. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's also a frustration about the timing. We have the divine timing. There's frustration about the timing of things. I don't know if this person felt like you guys met at the wrong time 
or maybe they feel like you're going to you're going to get away if they don't get to you in time because I'm just noticing here we've got the watch on this guy I was drawn to that. We also have the divine timing, but the 7 of pentacles can also talk about timing. I feel like they're frustrated about the timing of things. Um let's see where you guys are at with this person. Where do you guys stand with this person? You miss them, but you also feel like there's a lot of bitter memories regarding the past. Yeah, sadness. We have got Leo energy, the sun, and the knight of swords in reverse. So like I predicted, I do not think you're with this person. We have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's distance. Maybe you guys decided to move on. You're not communicating with this person, but you're not happy about this. Like, you're separated from this person. You're distant from this person. But I'm not getting that you're happy about this at all. There's a lot of sadness here, and there's a lot of, like, negative feelings about the past as well with that six of cups in reverse. Let's see. Where are you guys at emotionally? Let's see. Angry. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look and see why you guys are feeling angry. I think a lot of you are hurt over whatever has happened between the two of you. I'm just going to down a bit so you can see. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Why is anger here? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding on to this anger. Oh, so it could have been a third party. We got the Three of Cups, the World, and the Tower. I'm getting two scenarios. It could be that you're feeling so angry at this person that some of you guys got involved with a third party. That could be one. The other thing that I'm getting is you guys are feeling so angry at this person because maybe when things ended with that world, there was also a third party involved and this was a big trigger or, or um, a big surprise for you potentially. But what I'm mainly getting is between you and this person, which makes sense why we have the purge card. Between you and this person, there are so many bottled up emotions that are not being expressed. And I'm getting here, Spirit is revealing that you are angry and you've been holding on to this anger actually for a while. I feel like this person has been avoiding how they feel about you for a while. I think a lot of time has gone on, but neither of you have really dealt with the emotions of whatever happened between the two of you. I just want to see what happened. That could be a lie. Like I said, we had the tribe card. Let's see what happened between these two. Yeah, destruction. Okay, so when things ended, it ended quite badly, right? The destruction card is like that tower energy. I always see this as kind of the tower card. It's like things were destroyed. You know, because you can end things and have it be simple like it doesn't have to be destructive you can end things and not have it be destructive but when things ended it was destructive and because of this there are so many emotions that are up in the air and it's like i i'm just getting like from what i'm seeing here i feel like you're still holding on to anger they are holding on to a lot of emotions but they're not aware of it i feel like this person over here is in denial they may be chasing after like success, material gains, attention. This person may be trying to get a lot of attention. I'm getting a lot of that energy where to the outside world, it may look like your person is fine, but in reality, they're just looking for outside like stimulus to numb the pain that they're feeling. You guys, unless roles are reversed, but you guys over here are sad, angry, um, a lot of this is like what spirit is revealing is you keep holding on to what happened in the past. You guys haven't released the energy or the emotion of what happened. And it's probably because it was quite chaotic. Like it was, it was destructive. So let's see, destruction. We have the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting the sense that there was a lot of passion between you and this person. Like when things were good, they were really good. Knight of Wands. Could have been a lot of sexual attraction between the two of you. But sometimes the problem with all of that passion is that when it's out of balance, it can be very, very, very destructive. Okay? I'm also getting that you and this person could have had a lot of back and forth. The Eight of Cups reverse is like maybe this is someone that you've had a hard time moving on from or vice versa. Or maybe this is an ex that you went back to and nothing really changed. Um... I just put I'm not happy with a third party. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Okay, what does this person want to say to you? What is their message for you? I'm going to call, text, or DM you. So this person wants to say that they are planning on reaching out. And, okay, this can make sense with what I was getting with this. Like, this person is feeling attention around the timing like i feel like this person may feel that or maybe they felt in the past they had more time to fix things and now they're feeling this pressure and i don't know why 
Maybe I'll try to figure, we'll get a clarifier out. We'll clarify this whole section, but let's pull some more messages first. What do they want to say? You turn me on so much. So like I was just saying with that Knight of Wands, there's a lot of passionate energy between you and this person. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You turn this person on a lot, okay? They're very sexually attracted to you. We have, can you reach out to me? I'm scared. So I definitely feel like, again, this person has been thinking a lot about saying something to you. There is this like, even though it's not necessarily being said, I'm getting a form of frustration around the timing. It has to do with the timing and them feeling like they're running out of time. So let's see what this is about. Like what is causing this person to feel this way? But they're also really scared to reach out to you. We have the high priestess reverse. So partially why they're feeling like they need to say something is because they don't know what's going on in your world right now. With the high priestess reverse, you are coming through as very mysterious. Some of you are being very secretive about what's going on with you. And this is frustrating them because they have no idea. So it's like they want to reach out to find out like, where are you at? What's going on with you? I think they're worried about you being with someone else. Three of pentacles. Because they don't know exactly what's going on in your world, I think this person is going to like that. They're assuming that you're involved with someone else. That there's someone else that you're talking to like I said some of you actually are um so I feel like that's what's bothering this person a lot the problem is though is this person is still very much in their ego like very much in their ego and I think it's affecting this person's ego it almost feels like the motivation behind this person reaching out to you is like their ego is bruised because they feel like you are hiding some third party or they feel like there's someone else that you're involved with um, let's see what is giving this person this impression. Maybe you guys actually are and you're flaunting it potentially. Let's see what is giving them this impression because you're not putting any effort into them anymore because you're not calling them, texting them, DMing them, showing up at their doorstep. You're not doing, you're not putting any effort into this person, right? You're not putting any effort into this person. And so because of this, they want to come back because of this their mind is taking them to all these different places. Um, but still there's that fear, right? Like you look here, can you reach out to me? I'm scared. This person is still scared of reaching out to you. We have the, but this is what it is. They're afraid. It's like, they're afraid if they don't reach out, it's going to be over for good, but they're also afraid if they reach out, it's also going to be over death. We have Scorpio energy. So let's see, is this person going to reach out? Let's see. What is the most likely outcome? Will this person make a move towards you? We have the Empress in reverse. Okay. Um, and oh my gosh. And the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is so attached to you. I don't know though. Cause Empress reverse. Okay. What I will say is this, this person is extremely like in the near future, this person is going to be like, extremely attached, extremely codependent, like literally, I don't know how to describe this. This is very intense. Empress reverse, queen of pentacles reverse is like, this person is highly attached to you. It's like their attachment is growing and growing and growing and growing. The problem is it's not necessarily saying that they're going to act on that. Yeah, they may eight of swords reverse. They could be releasing, releasing themselves. I feel like they need to get out of their head. So what I will say is that in the near future, their feelings for you are going to be growing to an intense degree, um, to the point where this person literally is like, I think unhealthily codependent on you, but they don't show it. I feel like this person is like very attached to you, slightly bordering on codependency. I wouldn't even say bordering, definitely codependent, but yet their fears kind of stop them here with the eight of swords. So it's a matter of whether or not they can overcome this fear that they have to reach out. And that's why they're saying, can you reach out to me? I'm scared. I will highly say do not though. With the six of wands coming through to their energy towards you, do not. If anything, it would just boost their ego. And I feel like a lot of them wouldn't even respond. The reason why they're wanting to respond is because their ego is taking a hit. And it's also kind of amplifying their fears of you moving on. Like of them really just losing their shot with you. Okay, but that's what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.